Ladies and gentlemen, Blue Dragon 5439, that guy I used to know back in the day, he fi he's finally uploaded in the last seven months. <laughs> um, and I thought I'd include this bit in this video because, I don't know, it just kind of warms my heart because, uh, you know, seven months, seven months of inactivity on this platform. I don't know, go check out the short, it's in the description. Um, anyways, yeah, welcome, welcome to another episode of the OP Realm, the beautiful, amazing, totally legit, non-cheating atmosphere, guys. I know you guys love this. Um, this episode is a little bit of a special one so far. I'm just gonna mainly be showing stuff off, showing what I've been doing over time, you know, for those of you who stalk my Discord profile, you've probably seen me going between different dimensions. You're probably wondering what the heck this is, too. Um, this is the Infinite Plains Flatlands, or just the Plains Flatlands, according to the bug screen. Either way, it's very similar to the Overworld template, um, the Super Flat template that's automatically built into the game. I thought I'd recreate this. Um, a lot of the stuff I've done in this world is recreations, um, because nostalgia and whatnot. I really, really wish I could relive my childhood, but unfortunately, can't really do that. Like, can't repeat the past completely, but we can mimic the past, that's for sure. So I created this dimension, and I think it looks pretty swell. We got basically no lag whatsoever. I'm still getting my solid 60 frames here. Uh, we have lots and lots of villages. This is like a village over here, um, village over there. I've been linking these all up with teleporters. You can see there's a building here. Uh, this does not actually have any teleporters in it yet. So, I should probably get on that at some point. But maybe not right now. There's a lot of villages in this world. There's one over there. There's like six different villages. I'm not even kidding around. Also, recently I got a new mod. Um, Zero's world map. Um, big shocker to absolutely no one that is the same Zero. And hopefully I'm pronouncing their name right, that made the mini-map up there. So we tap M on the keyboard right here, we can bring up a whole bunch of stuff. Yep, this is the map. One, two, three, four, five, six villages, seven villages, eight villages, nine villages in this dimension. I should probably make them a little less common. Ten, eleven. Jeez. That's next level stuff right there. I remember as a kid, I'd always like struggle to find the villages in Super Flat World. But now we're just finding them left and right. Probably because I have a better PC now can do better render distances. Of course, can't do like 30 chunks. This is a solid 12 chunk render distance right here, I think. But hey, it's better than nothing, in my opinion. Anyways, yeah, it's basically a whole, whole area of just flat plains. The big, the big nostalgia I loved back in the day. We got a custom farm here. We got a farming setup. Got some beetroot growing here. I've really, be, really been trying to spread um, around the beetroot a whole lot because there's barely any of it in the world. Like, beetroot is more valuable than all the other crops, not because, like, it has any, like, big enhancing effects. Uh, in fact, it's actually kind of rubbish in terms of hunger, just, I use it for breeding. But, because of how rare it is, compared to something like wheat, or carrots, or even potatoes. Possibly, I think the only thing rarer than it is actually netherwort, which I have basically none of, so... Hopefully I'll be able to get that growing up soon in the world. We're gonna need a lot of full sand for that, but hey. We can just literally take it out of the inventory right here. Um, I'll address these textures in a moment. That's another big, big thing I did. Just recently, actually, a few days ago. But anyways, yeah, this zone, this is zone five. We run function, teleport slash zone five right there. Boom, here we are. Looks familiar, doesn't it? And also, I've decided with every f function um, for the zone, decided to document the days that it was founded on. So this was founded on day 553. Right now it is day 605, which means I gotta back up the world. I like to back up the world every 100 days because uh, we had an OP realm. The very first OP realm got lost to world corruption and I didn't have a backup for it. So that had over 2,000 days. I think I mentioned it once or twice in other videos, but yeah, we do not want to repeat the past here. We need to learn from our L's and turn them into lessons. So yeah, this is a custom stronghold 5.1. Uh, the other one over there, that was custom stronghold 5.2. Uh, uh, we do have some lighting issues here. We have this skeleton just chilling in here with the villager. And over here, yes, way over here in this deep slate area, unfortunately, one of my villagers is zombified. That is a big oof right there. Uh, and the reason this guy isn't attacking this guy over here is because this guy is invulnerable. 
if we go into survival, I can't... Oh, crap, there's a skeleton. But as you can see, I, I couldn't hit that guy. Wasn't very successful. Um, beautiful NBT tag stuff that I like to do. Anyways, I really don't want this video to be like super, super long um, because I've done a lot of things in multiple zones. I don't want this to be like a full-fledged world tour. So I think the next good place we're going to go to is Zone 3. That zone we expanded into in the last episode. Or not the last episode, the very first episode, actually. And this is where I can actually address the texture pack changes. So yeah, as you can see, it's not really the same Zone 3 as we all knew and loved before. I didn't change anything, it's just that the main Zone 3 that we started in is way over in this direction. We made a little path here, and I'll get to that in a moment. As you can see, this is the fricked up area of the world where somehow the biome changed. I d I'm still trying to figure out why, but yeah, that was kind of stupid. But I moved away from that area, moved into the nether wastes, big upgrade. Anyways, yeah, you can recognize this area right here. And if you go over here, you're probably wondering what the heck happened over here. And what I was doing is I was testing some creepers. So if we go over here, run slash summon creeper, Tilda, tilda, tilda. Then we open up our curly braces here, and we go to explosion radius. And then if we set that to something like 25, and then if we get out our flint and steel, and is, that's not, okay, good. It's not next to the base. We light this guy. We have quite a bomb here. We have quite an explosive. It unearthed some ancient debris right there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I was doing some explosion testing over here. I don't really see a use for this land anymore, seeing that's all messed up. At least this, not this part. Up above, we all know that's where the custom city is at. Or do we know that? I don't think I actually built that on camera, but I did show it. Yeah, up there, that's custom city 3-1. Um, big storage area. Anyways, originally, for the zone function, I was originally going to have it like uh, spawn us up here, and that's what it did for a little bit until I decided to change it just a few days ago. To spawn over here, I thought it would be more traditional to spawn in the nether wastes here. Um, and yeah, the nether wastes makes up a pretty good portion of this. I have special nether world gen, not just with like the noise settings, but also with the placement of the biome. So pretty much how the nether world generation works is we have a whole screen of pretty much nether wastes, and then throughout that, we have whole dots of pretty much every other biome. Warped forests tend to be surrounded by the warped forest edge, which is that biome right there. And as you can see, you can kind of see it too with the map here. Um, you can see there's a dot of crimson forest, dot of warped. Up here, we actually have a dot of basalt delta. That's a little bit of a rarer biome. Kind of want to do my own creative original thing here. Maybe I'll change it in the future. Maybe I won't. But either way, all this terrain here, I have no intent on resetting any chunks. So yeah, it's going to look a little tacky, but you know... The oldest Anarchy server in Minecraft, 2B2T, has a whole bunch of chunk stuff going on there. And uh, I think that's kind of like an aspect of history, really. I know that, like, the original OP realm had a whole bunch of chunk errors in it, especially when I started doing all the world gen stuff from changing it. But I really think that's, like, part of having a Minecraft world, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, um, time to address the elephant in the room, and that is... Why, what is going on here with the textures and whatnot? Why is the lava all red? And I'll tell you why, it's because I designed my new texture pack. It's my own original stuff. This will not also be uh, able to download though because it does use stuff that isn't mine. And I don't know where that stuff is at. I can't remember so I can't share it because that would probably be infringing upon someone else's rights. Because this texture right here um, with the Nylium that is not my work, okay? I took a whole bunch of textures and edited them. I made netherrack darker. I used the old netherrack texture for nostalgia because I remember, I remember I used to get lost in an old world of mine in the nether. And this is all I saw. It was pretty funny. I, was, I don't even think I was that far away from spawn, to be honest. But yeah, we've got all this here. Adjusted some textures. You can see everything is really darker. And it made the lava more... Ugh. I made the lava more red because why not? I'm always used to so used to like orange lava. I think red lava looks cool. Um, it's definitely not like beet red lava, or maybe it is. I think that's up for interpretation right there. Soul sand is darker, but I kept the old texture and soul soil as well. It was a lot of work, I tell you, a lot of work because I I don't know how to do like all this texture pack stuff. I had to use 
obviously I use like generators for stuff. But it was kind of interesting, especially with this next thing we're going into. I'm actually going to need to flip into survival for this. And we will do that right over here at the opaque outpost, one of the many. Yeah, so if we open up this chest, I actually don't need to go in survival, all the stuff's in here. We have custom item models too. Very nice. Use more NBT stuff and the texture pack as well. <clears throat> and I'm really proud of how these textures came out here with all these items. I think they look really good. I really like how the red contrasts with the black. It's definitely a lot better than those old tools I had that were just literally two colors, dark black and literally bright red. That's literally it. Of course, it was the smallest image ever, but I don't really think there was much quality in that. We also have this Miss Gear storage block here for the Shulker box. We have more custom models in here. We have a raid sword. Got a whole bunch of wacky weapons and not and whatnot. Um, references to old eras on the channel. These are not obviously not the same items. They are just recreations, pretty much. We got a uh, charring decay. This is pretty much a sword um, that has really good fire aspect on it, and uh, really nothing else. Undead sword. Big big smite. Yes, amazing. Anyway, that's all I've really got to say for that. Yeah, this is the Nether, and I, this is why I really, really like the noise settings I did for this place, because look at this. This is awesome. We could really have, like, a whole civilization going here. That's hopefully what I plan to do. I really made this, like, the center of Zone 3, because this is where you come out now with the Teleport Command. We've got, like, these structures here that mark it. I thought it would be cool. Um, yeah, and this area isn't screwed up. So that's cool, I guess. And that's, and again, I really, I just really love these new textures that I made, I put together. I really shouldn't say I made them because I didn't. Um, the netherrack texture, that's from Mojang, obviously. I just edited it. But it's something new I've never tried before. So I thought I'd share it and document it with all of you here on YouTube. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's pretty cool. Something I might do in the future though, is I might make um, bastions and fortresses generate a little less. Because this thing is collide, they're colliding with each other right here. And there's one bastion right here and another one over there. Not, not too hard to find, to be honest, so I might cut down on that. Again, no resetting of chunks. These chunks are here to stay. But yeah, that's the nether. Hopefully we'll expand to the end soon. I'll most definitely be recording the dragon fight that we are totally going to not cheat in whatsoever. Totally not going to use our crazy and wacky weapons on anyone. Hello, pigman. How you doing? Yes, yeah, so I fought a lot of these guys here too. I actually fought a wither here too. Uh, I was expend experimenting with more NBT. I was bored, having a lot of fun. Played for nearly three hours one time because really been enjoying myself. I'm sorry for not putting out so many videos, but I've been playing a lot of games lately. <laughs> Maybe I'm suffering from game addiction. I don't know, but either way, <clears throat> this is what we got here. Very nice setup. Hopefully we'll expand in all the directions. Oh yeah, up above here, that's the home of Custom City 3 too, which is going to be like a major storage and shopping district. We've got a couple shops up there. That's what it looks like. It's a big L. Um, I just realized that. That is actually hilarious. It's a big, big L. Minus that part with the teleporter on it. And also you can see the command blocks. That's just cool, I guess. We've got a lot of land here to work with, which is why I really, really love this game like i loved how minecraft was infinite and you can just it's a sandbox too I, mean, I feel like i'm really the kind of guy who's just drawn to that kind of stuff no rules to follow but anyways now we're gonna go to another destination that will be zone six and this it's a little chilly here um yeah not much to say this pr this place is pretty underdeveloped but i seriously hope to start developing it soon we will get some buildings up and whatnot i don't that's really about it Got attacked by a whole bunch of strays here and nearly died. It was pretty crazy. Um, we got another base here. This is also really, really, like, I don't know, underdeveloped over here. I know it's, it's, it's a pretty solid base. It's the same one that's in the zone one. But we don't have any coal in any of the smokers or furnaces or blast furnaces over here. So I'd really like to start working with some of the bases here. I kind of feel like I've been neglecting them a whole lot. But anyways, this is what the world map looks like for this place. Um, I made this dimension a while ago. Yeah, it's really just cold. Um, I don't, this is going to be one heck of an island right here. But yeah, my plans are really going to be like to inhabit this whole area here, start a civilization here, have a whole bunch of setup, and then expand out in this direction. This is a very straight line right here. Look at that. You don't see much of that in this game. Also, what the heck is that? 
I guess it's a shipwreck, okay. Yeah, the world map is pretty good for these YouTube videos I make. I hope you think so as well. I think it's really good for showing you guys around without using, like, an actual map in here. Oh yeah, this place also goes to the outpost in the nether I just showed off, so here we are again. Speaking of, uh, neglected structures, I feel like there's a lot of that in this world, more than, like, the previous OP realms. Um, over here, this base that we built in the first episode that got so many views, that so many people decided to watch, they just wanted to see me cheat in a video game, I guess. Um, yeah, I've just start only started, like, working on this place, really. Obviously, it's complete, but, like, you know, actually putting stuff down. We're growing crops here as of a few days ago. Or, actually, not even a few days ago. I literally think I just put that down today, so. Yeah, um, hopefully, hopefully we'll start putting, like, all the stuff we build to use here. I kind of feel like I'm just creating more than I'm actually using, so. I'd kind of like to change that in the future, but. So what we got, we got a whole bunch of carrots, over half of this is carrots. Um, no beetroot in here, unfortunately. I've really, really been trying to spread the beetroot around. Now, if you're, we're in zone two now, um, we have this big, big tower right here. And if you remember a while back, um, when I was a kid, four years ago, I can't believe it's been that long. It's gonna be five years ago soon. I really liked using structure blocks to create big, big structures, and that's exactly what this is, but like better than what I did as a kid. It's got more texture to it. As you can see, we got different walls here. Um, if you go inside, we've got a villager and everything. This guy, he's, he's quite an expert. He's got our storage needs here. But yeah, we've got a whole bunch of these sprinkled around the world. They're pretty helpful. I even made them go down as too, so you can have infinite basement floors. It's pretty crazy stuff, and I'm really pleased with how long I've come. This over here is a big, big farming setup. I'm not sure if I've shown this at all, but we've got like a big, big sugarcane area over here. And then going over here, we have a little bit of another neglected area, which is, um, I believe, another custom city. Uh, which custom city is this? Custom City 2-1. Yeah, that's what this is, and this is actually different from every other custom city, because it actually uses a spruce, spruce palette here with the blocks. Um, it took a while to create, um, but yeah, hopefully we'll get to use like this a whole lot more soon. I screwed some stuff up over here, as you can see. I mean, I wrote, I loaded the wrong thing, but I made do with it. It's fine. It's no biggie. Oh yeah, and with the repeating buildings, we've also got one, but for smelting over here. The chests up here actually have their own custom loot table, which is pretty nice. I haven't opened any of them yet. It's basically a whole bunch of coal. I think the last notable thing I should include in this video, this building right over here. This is a shopping center. And if we go inside, the walls are made out of wool, but boy do we have a lot of villagers here. We have a whole bunch of shopkeepers here. They're gonna sell us their stuff. And uh, yeah, it's pretty good. We've got a whole bunch of unique shops here. I believe there's a guy over here that sells good weapons. Well, there was a guy over here that sold good weapons until his, he got zombified. So hold on, let me take care of this guy. I should probably watch the light levels a little more. All right, there we go. Well, that guy um, cures up right there. We're gonna go check on the other ones. Yeah, they all seem to be all right. Oh yeah, I have these two guys tucked back here as well. Uh, this guy sells spawn eggs. I think he's our first spawn egg dealer of the world. And this guy, what do you sell? You also sell spawn eggs, but you're passive. That's pretty cool. You sell, you sell, you sell animals. That's pretty cool. But yeah, this also took a long time to make, but it was fun making it, nevertheless. It's inspired by a shopping center um, that the YouTuber MC Navid um, shows in his videos from, I think, four or five years ago. I don't watch him anymore. If you go check out his channel, you'll kind of see why. I kind of grew out of him. But, uh, yeah, that's inspired by a shopping center that's appeared in a couple of his videos, his mod videos. I think one of them was the Wither mod. It's pretty crazy. I really enjoyed that kind of stuff as a kid. He was actually one of the first YouTubers I ever subscribed to. And this over here, this is literally just an attempted farm. We've got like one area that's actually, you know, actually a farm. The rest here, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this land. Honestly, I'll, I will never truly know what I'm gonna do with all of this land right here either, but yeah, that's just really mostly an update video. Uh, showed off some stuff here, documented some stuff. Um, yeah, and with that, uh, hope you enjoyed. Um, the next episode, we'll most definitely be doing something. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.